Hey, what's going on guys and welcome to the channel. Now, about a year ago, I made a video about how to add some alerts via mix it up bot. We did a, a bit alert and a, a setup for that video and I've since gotten way better equipment. In this video, I'm gonna show you how you can set up a raid alert, because I know a lot of you would love to see really creative raid alerts for your channel. So I'm gonna show you how to do that in this video. Now, I'm not gonna go through how to download the application. You need a bot account, you need to set up a stream account. Um, if you wanna know how to go through that process, I went through that in the first video, but it's pretty self-explanatory, very easy to go through. So. We are on the bot application and we want to make a rate alert. So essentially you're looking to create an event. Now, if you click on the tab here, you can scroll down to the events section on mix it up bot. And you will see here that I have a list of things that you can make events for. You have Twitch, you have events for chat donations. I will show you how to set some of these things up in another video, but today we're going to focus on how to make a rate event and an alert to go with your raids. Now you'll see that I already have an event set up for my raids, which is this. Are you ready? Are you ready for this? You just got raided, bitch. Now, there's a number of things I have set up for that event. Um, a lot of different elements, such as uh, my screen going black, fireworks going off. You can see there's a long list of things here, just because I got very, like, creatively dramatic with this event. But I'm going to keep it somewhat simple for you guys. I'm not going to do anything too crazy. If you really want to know how to do something, like, really advanced like this with, like, a lot of stuff going off, um, let me know in the comments below, and I can do, like, a more advanced version on how to create an alert like this. But we're going to try and keep it just a little simple maybe add some effects and then that's about it so this is what it will look like when you don't have any commands set up for an event you can come here and you can see add command in the section so if you add command you're gonna be given a blank sheet here and what you're gonna want to do is you're gonna go down to actions and then you have a list of actions here that you can add to this raid event and there's gonna be a few ones I want to recommend to you such as add in a chat message that way a chat pops up for when you get raided and you can even say the person's name who raided you you could add um, an overlay so images and videos if you want to put any gifts and effects into the rate alert and you'll probably want to add a sound that way you know some kind of noise is made when you get a raided because obviously you don't want a quiet raid raids are supposed to be hype and, and eventful and maybe even some text to speech if you want anything said when the raid happens so let's add a chat command we're going to put chat command hit the plus sign and then we're given this um this uh, line here to add a message you can send a streamer um or have it sent as your bot if you don't click send a streamer it will be sent into the your chat as your bot account so for the raid message we can use the command to use a username this will say the username of the person who activated your event which would be the person that's raiding you and we can say thank you so much for the raid now, keep in mind that if you have emotes on your channel, if you want to, you can actually add emotes into your chat message for your raid command. Make sure that you're putting exactly how the emote is uh, listed in your creator dashboard, like the actual uh, command for the emote itself. If you type it in here exactly, if you're sending the chat message as streamer, then it will actually send your emote in the message and it'll pop up as well. So we've added a chat message. Let's go ahead and uh, close that and we'll add something else. Let's say we want to add a overlay. So let's do overlays and images. And then we're going to add that. Now, there's something that I have on my Mix It Up bot that I would recommend you add if you want to have a, um, a full effect. So I have two overlays. I have a default overlay, which is normally just, you know, a regular square box that doesn't take up the whole screen. And I have a large overlay, which is a box that does take up the entire screen. And that's where I get the fireworks popping off on the entire overlay. I'll really quickly show you how to make a second overlay. This is something that you do want to do. So let's save our command really quickly. On the front page here, you'll see the little cog for your settings. So go into your settings and then you're going to go down into overlays. And you can see here that you can add 
you can add an overlay so you can call it you know large overlay the way I did mine and when you press add it'll give you a new link for the specific overlay so that way if you have use for it you can have two different overlays that has you know different size pictures popping up or whatever you want to use it for so let's go into overlays and we'll add images and videos and then here you have options to add images videos whatever you want now there is a website that I like to utilize called Giphy um, this is where you can get a lot of your you know gifts for alerts and let's say you want something like let's go with flames so let's say you're scrolling on the section here and you're like oh look that looks really cool I would love to have this pop up when I get rated if you want you can save this gift to your computer you can go ahead and press uh, save image as and then name it whatever you want I'll just do uh, raid alert all right, so back and mix it up in your overlay section. Now you can go into browse and you can pick the GIF that you just saved to your computer. Now, let's say we want a duration of, let's say six seconds, and we want it to happen on our large overlay because we want it to take up the entire screen. And let's add a visible animation to it. So like a flash, we'll have it flash when the raid happens. Okay, so now that we have an overlay, let's go ahead and add a sound that will go with our raids. So go back into actions, scroll down until you get to sound and then hit the plus sign. Add the sound to the command list that's going to happen during this raid event. Now let's do a little something extra. Now there is a site that I like to go on to get certain sounds that I like to use for my edits. Now if you want to, you can check out myinstance.com. Now let's say we want something hype to go with our raid commands. We'll type in hype and then you can get a bunch of sounds that follow under that category. If you click any of the buttons, it'll give you a sample of what the sound is. And if you want to download it, you can just click on the name and then press download to MP3. So now that we have our sound, you can go into browse and then go to wherever you placed your sounds. So I put mine in music and then we'll add the music. Okay, so let's do one more thing and we're gonna add another overlay command to this event. And this time we are going to add a text message and this text will basically display um, in front of our overlay. And for this text, we are going to put welcome Raiders and you can customize the text however you like it. Um, you can change the font, the size, all that stuff. Just make it yours. So I went ahead and um, added my text. I put welcome Raiders. I added the font. I put the uh, color of the font, the size that I want the text to be, how long it's gonna last, which is six seconds, which is the same amount of time as our actual raid. And I added some animations. So I'm gonna have it rotate in, zoom out, and it's gonna pulse while it's on the screen. Okay, so now that we've added our commands to happen for the event, this is what it looks like. And if you ever need to, you can also swap these around. Um, if you ever have things that you want to happen first or last, if you're adding multiple commands to your event list. Okay, so now that we have finished our command and I had to go in and change a few variables and you have to do this when you test it. I tested it a few times and I needed to, I needed to change the size of a few things. So my sizes were a little different. So make sure when you make the rate alert, you test it. If you need to change any sizes, any font sizes or how the, how the animations look, make sure you do that and then you can just save it. And this is what we are currently working with. Tell me where the freaks at. Now I like that, but I think it could use a little something extra. We're gonna add confetti to it and make the text uh, last just a little bit longer. So back to our events, you see that you have your event here and it's saved, edit the command and now you can add more to it. So go back into actions, let's go into overlays, add overlay, we'll go back to images and we're gonna add another image to this overlay. So I went back to Giphy, I found a confetti gift that I liked and I saved it to my computer. Make sure that when you are looking um, some of these gifts up that you do get the ones that are transparent that way you don't have to worry about uh, backgrounds removal so we add our gif we put it on our large overlay we're gonna add uh, seven seconds to it and then we're also gonna go ahead and change um, our text overlay and make that just a little bit longer as well we'll make that eight seconds that way it's just on screen just a little bit longer after your after the initial gif goes away so go ahead and save it and now you have your new event ready to go and now it looks like this tell me where the freaks at ah! 
so now you have a brand new raid event now obviously you don't have to copy what I did you can take my examples and then create your own thing change things around I even recommend that if you really want to if you want to add like layers on top of your raid event you can create multiple overlays put them on top of each other that we have different things going at once I'm actually gonna be changing my raid command soon if you want to see what I come up with feel free to come by my channel I do stream live on twitch anyway I hope you guys enjoyed the video and you found this helpful and if you did leave a like and consider subscribing I'm gonna post some more mixed up tutorials in the future thank you so much for watching and I'll see you guys in the next one